Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I don't do business with door-to-door -door salesmen. Well, well, well. Frankie Butcher. I never recognize you all dressed up like a dog's dinner. Off to the job center, are we? You're not a funny man, aren't you? It's the interview with Diana. Oh, yeah, so it is, yeah. Thank you, Nah, they've been getting ready for about two and a half hours, so it should be a while yet. Fancy a drink while you're waiting? A bit early, isn't it? Well, you look like you could do with a drink. Oh, well, I could do with one, all right. I don't want to go around there smelling a booze. You know, it may go down, not go down too well. Frank, you're applying for a license to run a booze, all right? No one's going to complain about a bit of Dutch courage. No, no, no. You can always buy yourself a packet of mints on the way. Right. Nervous? Well, I've got a lot riding on this. That's got our heart set on having our own pub. Yeah, well, you couldn't stand a used car trade much longer, could you? Hey. The MOT's run out. Get a bit too old to escape from them angry customers. I don't need your sarky remarks this morning. I need someone to bolster me up for this interview. It's a piece of cake. You reckon? Who are you seeing? Singers. Oh, boring old git. You've drone on for years about how he knew the original Mr Laxford. It's a load of old toffee unless he happens to be 140 years of age. Look, humour him. Ask his advice. Tell him how much you can benefit from a man of his experience. Butter him up, you mean? Yeah, and I might be able to help you out there. Yeah. Sangers loves his football, and I can put a couple of cup final tickets your way. How much? Under pound a pen. You sure? Frank, we're talking about the biggest game of the season. We're talking about your passport to this pub, or we're talking about Pat's dreams going up in spoke because you're too tight to put your hand in all your pocket. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Hello, not too late, I hope. Just thought I'd pop by and give our prospective candidates a little pep talk. One of them's upstairs, still getting her battle gear on. But any advice you can give us, Mr. Sparrow, I'll be very grateful. Well, as it happens, I did have a jar only last night with Mr. Sangers, and he did let slip a few pearls of wisdom about company policy in this area. Oh, great. Of course, it would be very indiscreet of me to mention anything in the circumstances. Oh, yeah, and he's never indiscreet. Oh, I do try and stay on the straight and narrow, Den, uh, but sometimes people lead me into bad ways. Mind you, I do fight hard to resist temptation. Oh, he does, he does, he does, he does. I thought you'd like a contribution to your favourite charity, Mr. Sparrow. Now, that's what I like to see, a man who cares for the underprivileged. I'm sure. Oh, I don't suppose there's any harm in giving you a few tips, is there? Mouth is, the Dagmar ain't doing so well. Nowhere near the sort of sales that Wilmot Brown promised a brewery. Oh, Virgil got his fingers burnt, eh? Shame. Now, he spent an awful lot of money refurbishing the place and putting on his special events, but he didn't do his research properly, did he? Well, I could have told you that. Look, never mind about all that. What does he want done with his place? Back to basics. The centre of the community, the friendly family watering hole. East End hospitality as it used to be. Oh, like when they used to run cars over your elbows. Then we're talking serious business here. Yeah, turn it in, will you? I've got a lot riding on this. Pub grub, but simple. Specials to keep them coming in. But it's the sing-song round of Joanna. Fundraisers for the local charities. Oh, just like Ange and I used to run it. Uh, not exactly. He wants it homely rather than tatty. He said the Vic was tatty. Oh, keep your ear on. You want to get shot at the place anyway, don't you? The Vic is not tatty. I'm pulling more dough than anyone else around here. Yeah, trouble is, Sangers don't know about it, because half it don't go and the books go straight in your pocket. <laughs> Ta-da! Prepare to feast your eyes. Come on, girl. What do you reckon? Oh, you look terrific, baby. What are you going to get dressed up then? Dame zip it. I'll get it. Look, you've got plenty of time before your interview. I reckon your best bet is to let me take you around the brewery's best pubs. That way you can see what you're aiming for. That's really good of you, Mrs. Sparrow. Don't mention it. I've got the car outside. Uh, mind you, I might have to pop in a garage, get some petrol. I'd better give you some money of petrol, Mrs. Sparrow. Wouldn't want to see you out of pocket now, would we? Oh, cheers. Blimey, Frank. You should have brought out more cash than that. We're bound to have to stand a round or two. Oh, don't worry. I've got some in my bag. Just as well one of us realises wheels need oiling. Oh, yeah. Just... Dan, sorry I'm late. So I no problem. I'm sure if there was a rush, Mr Sparrow would have given us a hand. We went for a meal, Albert. Celebrating? Well, it's hard to say. I've never done an interview before. I'll have an arse around the office tomorrow. Oh, thanks. You did me one favour with those cup final tickets, though, didn't you? Old Sangers took the bait, did he? No, you must have made a mistake. Got it mixed up with someone else. He's a cricket man, isn't he? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Still, there's no refunds, mate. Oh, I don't want one. I let a couple of young fellas in a restaurant. They come down from North on the chance of getting a ticket for the weekend. <laughs> They bid me 80 quid each for them. What is about? What you done? Well, that's charming. I thought women like little gestures like this. I do. You've heard something, haven't you? I can tell by the look on your face. Well, come on, tell me. I bumped into Sparrow, and the little bird told him our interview went great. Now, there is another couple to see yet, but they were impressed, and we're in with more than a fighting chance. <laughs> I thought we'd blown it. Oh, that's made my day. Oh, true. A pack, yeah. Look, um... See, and Angie's taking herself off somewhere. I wonder if it'd be right to bring the kids around. I mean, after all, the way things are going, it could well turn out to be their own. I don't want to be pushy enough in them, but uh, what do you say? There's no skin out in Ino's, mate. I mean, the cellar in wants me. He's in a good mood, isn't he? Yeah, weird, isn't it? Still make the most of it while it lasts, eh? Shouldn't they be in school? <laughs> I wrote my sick note. Oh, I see. Had it planned out, had you? Oh, come on, darling. I didn't think you mind. You don't, do you? 
I haven't got much choice, have I? What are you up to? Making your will? Fiddling the VAT? Just some private legal matters, so keep your fat Duke of Montrose out of it. Makes no difference to me. Why is it going to interfere with me and Frank getting this place? I don't trust you. People doing their right minds would. As far as I'm concerned, you're welcome to every brick in this rat hole. Now, I've given you a reference. I've told lies in it about your ability that would make a cat laugh. I can't put any frighteners on the brewery, darling. It's down to them, all right? Nothing to do with me anymore. I can't wait to shake the dust off my feet from this place. Freedom. So why the interest in the wine bar if you can't wait to get out of Wolford? It don't add up. As I just told you, keep your nose out of it. Far be it from me to interfere. Oh, I hate to spoil your wonderful mood, but that Brad's been in asked me to give you this. I'm trying to talk to you about the kids. What kids? Well, Frank's kids, of course. They're coming round after the midday session. I want to show them round the pub. Will you do me a favour and stay out of the way, please? Oh, and don't mention to Angie they've been here. You know how funny she can be about things like that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any kids. Are you all right? You look terrible since I give you that note. What's up? The sky. Yes, love. What can I get you? Oh, just some orange juice, please. Coming up. Hiya. Here, you're thinking of joining us. Oh, word gets round here pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't miss much round here, love. Dr. Leg works far too hard, if you ask me. He could do with some help. Well, I, uh, I haven't decided yet. I hope you do. We don't make you very welcome. <laughs> hey, it's not last orders yet, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll be down in a minute. Gone up and coat. As you know, Jen, I don't think you've done the right thing with this cake. I mean, teenage girls are always on diets, aren't they? Well, you needn't look like that. It's all paid for out of my own pocket. I hope Sharon gets back before they leave. It'd be lovely if they met up. Nobody knows better than she does what it's like to be brought up above a pub. Yeah, well, I've got to go out, so I want you back downstairs. Yeah, like I said, I'll be down in a minute. Now. OK, one good turn deserves another. Here, what if that Brad comes back? There's no problem. I'll meet him at Andrews at six o'clock. That wine bar's becoming more popular by the minute. And if Anne's turns up, not a word. I don't know. Don't say this, don't say that. It's like being in one of them spy Do it, get towel! <sighs> Do it's a great crash. You'll have a wonderful time. I can't. Why not? Because I'm going out with Simon. Oh, that ain't serious, is it? Ian, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but it's very serious and he gets jealous. I'm always on him about how possessive he is. And you want to watch it, you know, because he'd thump you one if he knew you were coming on to me. Yeah, come off it. Look, Donny, you'll have a much better time with me. But you know how moody Simon is. You just can't trust him. Look what he did to Max. Well, she was completely wrong for him. Look, Ian, I'm very flattered. You're special. But it just wouldn't work. Donna, look, it does work. Look, I mean, just look at all the things we've done together. We know what each other's like. I feel really easy with you, like I've known you all my life. And it's the same for you, so I don't know why you're trying to deny it. I'm not trying to deny it. We do have a close relationship. But can't you see that's just the problem? That's what I thought it was supposed to be about. It's a different sort of closeness. We know each other too well. I think it's better we just stay friends. Well, you're just making excuses. Look, you've got to try to understand. You and me will always mean a lot to each other. But you and me together, we couldn't. It'd be like incest. Here we are, girl. Hope you got the kettle on. We're all gasping. Hello. Hello. Hi. It's a lovely dog you got down there. Love dogs. What's his name? Rowley. Yeah, we've got one at home. Did Dad tell you? No. Yeah, he's a mongrel, though. I've got a nice tea for you. We've got crumpets. They need uh, toasting. Sit down, then. Well, I'll tell you what, I better show the guys with a bar for wash your hands, baby. For goodness sake, Dad. We ain't kids, you know. No, of course you ain't. Make the tea, Frank. All right, babe. Well, what do you think of the Queen Vic, then? It's not a bad old place, is it? Yeah, it's all right. Must be funny living here, though. It's awful smell of beer all the time. This is good, isn't it? I think I'm going to enjoy living in a pub. If we do, you ain't allowed down here during opening hours. Now, that is a rule. You're allowed it, are they? Yeah, as long as we don't drink. It's up to the landlord, and I'm the landlord, or I will be. Now, come on up here, we upstairs. Dan could be back any minute. And right now, is the bus. Let's have a game of darts, Dad. There's no one here. Yeah, why not? He can if he wants. I hate all those games. They're dead boring. Give it a try. I'll play a mean game of darts. I think what's your telly? Are you sure? Oh, come on, you'll enjoy it. No, thanks. Come up with me, Dad. While they're playing, we can have a chat. All right, bye. Come on, Ricky. Let's see what you're made of. Go on, then. You start. I'll give you the advantage. You might get a shock. You weren't joking, <laughs> were you? I'll oh, straight up front, that's me. Oh. Hang about. I'm just getting me eye. Don't take the notice of dying. 
She's just a bit moody. She gets like that. So, uh, do you fancy living here? If it all works out. Do wonders for me darts, babe. Do you want to play for money? Get out. I expect you've all been very close, not having a mum and that. Yeah, well, Diane's just got used to it, bossing us all about. She'll come round. Morning, Pat. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard the phone ping, you yeah, know. Yeah, so did I. Oh, still in your nightish girls? Play. There's a whole world out there, up, dressed, ready to go. So let's be having you, shall we? This is not a rest home for the aged, nor the infirm, nor is it a sanctuary for save the well. It is a pub, a business, a place of work. So let's have some graft, spelt G-R-A-F-T. Graft! You see my Mac, Pat? Oh, don't worry, I know where it is. Why is Angie making secret phone calls on the downstairs <clears throat> phone, asking for a Mac when it ain't raining, and smiling flicked a bust? I'll give up. Why did the elephant wear a nighty? But I didn't tell him. I promise you. No, but you hinted and Cathy had to. So he knows, does he? Yes, he does. I don't know what to think. You know, the right state before it was so. Well, I haven't known what to think for 20 odd years, Pete. Hardly the point, is it? Problems? No. Or a word in your ear. Not me and Donna talking. It's urgent, Pete. <clears throat> no, where were you later? Yeah. And she's up to something. Oh, where's the Pope of Catholic? Oh, be serious. I've had a peep in her room. She's got all her clothes out of the wardrobe. She's just getting ready for the move. That's all. Pat, she's been on about it for days. No, she's got suitcases there. She's packing, Pete, not sorting. Have a word with Den. He might listen to you. Yeah. Den, here a minute. Yes. Pat's like the butchers in Angie's room. What am I whispering for? I don't know. What he's trying to tell you, Den, is Angie seems to be packing. Have you and Gravel Boy served in the brewery yet? Yeah. Hiya, lads. Hello there. Oh, boy, do I need a drink? <laughs> Double scotch, please. Go on, Dad. Dad, eh? Oh, and I was just building up there, are we? Yeah, you make me feel quite old. Excuse me, Frank. Can I have a word? Yeah, yeah. sure. That's fine, thanks. Oh, you look delightful. Cheers, darling. Can you give me a hand with some cases? Cases? Shh, keep your voice down, for God's sake. I can't get them down the stairs. They're up here. Thanks, Frank. She wants me to bring cases down. I've been trying to tell Den that all day. I ain't interested. You have a go. That's right. <sighs> oh, Den. <clears throat> Angie wants me to bring cases down, mate. What's going on? Hold the fort here, will you? No, Den. Yeah, I'm taking it over to Sharon. It'll be about half an hour. Den. Come in. Right, now, I'll get the wine. You do the menu. You buy the food, you cook it, and you lay the table. You got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. I want the old thing ready and you off the premises by eight o'clock. Pat, yeah? I'm having a very intimate dinner party tonight, me and Sharon. And what do you reckon she'd like? Well, candles, nice tablecloth, vase of flowers. Candles. Then just leave it to me, OK? Is this going to be enough to cover my wages as well? Daylight robbery. Here, it's worth it. After what she's been through, she needs something to make a fuss of her. Well, go on, Fanny Craddock. That's all you're getting up it. Dean, call me to shell. She's in a terrible state. Donna, because I make the laundry. Miss Darcy Dobby will just have to be understanding for once. Here, Pat. Mm -hmm. I've had a letter from Charlie. How lovely, Doc. Yes, he said he's coming down from Liverpool as soon as he can. He simply loves the idea of holiday. Be like a second honeymoon, he says. Oh, yeah? Where'd you have your first? Oh, well, we didn't know, but Pat, while I'm here, could you lend me some money? No. Oh, you see, Charlie needs his train fare. I'm sorry, Dot. Donna? And that's definite, is it? So what's in it for me? Well, plus perks? Well, I don't think it's brilliant, no. But if you say so, I'll give it some thought. <laughs> well, as soon as you put it like that, I won't give it any thought at all. The answer's yes. Oh, what is this? A mother's yeah, meeting? Oh, no, wow. I don't up till 10.30. It's now 9 o'clock. Out. Yeah, but Charlie's written to I me. I couldn't care less if the Pope himself has written to you. My licensing hours remain the same. Out. Oh, my God. Poor oh, man is in shock, cos Andrew. You don't know what he's saying. Could be, but I think you better go just the same, Doc. Yeah. What do you think he'll do now? I don't know. Well, I mean, it were Angie what wanted to go, not him. I've heard he'll stay on now she's gone. Dot. Out. Look, Dan. I've got my heart set on this place, Frank. It feels so right, you and me here. <sighs> I don't know what I'd do if it fell out of our grasp now. I mean, can't you ask him? Just ask him straight out. All right, babe, I'll ask him. But listen, 
if we do get this place. Seems a bigger if than ever now. If we get this place, it ain't gonna be like this, is it? It's gonna be cheerful, cheerful and happy. Everybody friendly, yeah? I hope so. Come on, Donna, this is a waste of an evening. I'm working. I'm gonna ask if you knock off early. I don't mind. They won't mind, they're not exactly busy, are they? You are mighty impatient. Ah, oh, Sarge, can you take over from me now? Yeah. Listen, I want your advice, mate. It's Sharon, really. Um, trouble is, uh, well, you're a father, you've got to have a couple of teenage kids on your own, and to be quite honest, I'm a bit out of my depth. I mean, what would you do in my shoes? What the best trouble is, you see, I've got to make it up to what with Angie going off and not being around. What I really want to know is what makes a good father. Well, I think is it holidays, you... money, clothes, records? No, what? nothing like that. Then give it time. Time? Yeah, time to listen, time to talk. And it's as simple as that, but except you don't if you're moving out of Wolford. If? Well, I may not, or I may stay, Frank, but please, don't quote me on that, OK? Look, thanks for your eyes. That's just what I needed. Thanks very much. But... I wish I knew. Pat? Yeah? Sharon about? No. Oh, I'm supposed to be meeting her. She can't, but I can't find her anywhere. She's upstairs with her dad. Yeah, but I don't think he'll Thanks. Oh, Duncan, you can't just stroll up there. What did you go and tell him for? Didn't want Sharon to himself tonight. He can sort it out himself, love. It's got nothing to do with you or me. Mm. Four weeks. No, I was waiting for you. Let's tell him the good news together. I can't wait to see his face. OK. See you later, love. Bye. Oh, there's some post on the table Oh, thanks. You. What you said, Chirpy, about? Nothing. Oh, I bet. Hey, We open in half hour, you know. What's this? Have you notice? No, yours. We took over in four weeks. Oh, congratulations. Couldn't happen to a nicer couple. Thank you. So you'll be leaving, then? Yeah, I'll be moving out in about four weeks. Any idea where you're going? Yes. Got another pub? Not exactly, no. What then? Wine bar. Henry's, to be exact. And for the next four weeks, I'll be extolling the virtues of the place. So if I was you two, I'd think of a way of hang on to your trade, because it'll take a bit more than real ale for that. And for the next four weeks, darling, you're still working for me, so it's bums off seats and fingers out of tills till then. Bring it quick, would you? I'm just helping out, that's all. Come on, Dan, don't rain show yet. Oh, come off it, Pat. You could have managed. They're not exactly fighting to get through the door now, oh, are they? Oh, you, you out from behind there. Only when I say so in the next four weeks do you manage to get your grubby little fingers inside my till. Oh, cheer up. You're not here to bring cheers to the hunters, are you? Women are so moody. Yes, stop. Yes, stop. Oh. Are you with us, stop? Is there anything I can get you? Orange chips? Watch my lips, stop. Orange. Yes. A large port. I'll get it, Doc. Large port. I've got the world, isn't it? It's the only one I've known since I took over this place. Well, you're always welcome in here, then. Don't we just spend it? Oh, you'll do. Thanks, sir. Big step for me, this. Well, I'd like to say you're among friends, but in this business, mate, it's dog eat dog. It sounds normal, mate. I've got a few ideas, sir. And what are they? Because I've tried them all. There's only one bit of advice I'm going to give you. It's that treat your customers fair. They're so used to being stitched up round here, you give them extra half inch of beer, they think you're God's gift. Stand your regulars a drink, the right ones, but above all, be the governor. And that's the only bit of advice you're going to get from me, because in three weeks' time, when I leave this place to take over the wine bar, I'm going to nick all your customers. Tell me something I never know. Huh? All right, then. Never work. Be the governor, eh? You've got a lot to learn, pal. I'm a bit too long in the tube to learn new tricks, but if I was you, cock up, I'd give that heap of trash bunches of that. Well, maybe you should have stayed in the car business. We had our parasites in our world, don't worry about that, but I never met one that was staying up the way till I leave Drink. So you're taking over, eh? That's right. I wish you the best of luck. It's a large scotch, darling. You never know. We might be able to put a bit of business on. No, I don't think so, pal. We'll see. For you. Oh, sorry. Donna. I insist. I've got to hand it to you, sir. They didn't start off on the right foot there. Oi! What am I inheriting here? I'm the other side of the jump. Listen to me. When you go, you take your dirty washing with you. They may frighten you, pal, but they don't frighten me. For someone that's supposed to have been around a bit, you certainly act stupid. Now, never, but never mouth off to me again and certainly never lay your hands on me, do you understand? Yeah. Frank! What a few words for you. What about... That's all right, uh, we're not so busy. Too busy? It's about me and Kath, isn't it? Look, I promised Kath I wouldn't talk to you. Yeah, well, she wouldn't want you to talk to me, would she? But this is causing Kath a lot of anger. I've told you before, I am not leaving you for a time. No, I just mean, can't you forget you that... You want me to forget that she's my mother? Well, she's not really, is she? Well, I mean, she is, yes, but... Yes, she is. Why does she hate me so much? Hate? Kathy don't hate you. 
Kathy could make anybody. She's a good woman. Well, you would think that anyway. Now, don't try slagging her off to me. I'm not trying to slag her off. Why would I want to slag her off? I just want her to love me. Look, why can't she meet me halfway? It must have been awful for her when she had me, but that wasn't my fault. And all right, so she has no maternal feelings for me, but does that mean we can't be friends? Why do I have to feel guilty about being born? Oh, no, it's not like that. You don't know Kat. Oh, do you? What are you talking about, oh, do nothing. I? nothing. Wait, what do you mean? Look, it's not for me to say, Pete. Say? Say what? Now, look. Maybe me and Kat don't get on all the time, but... It's not fair what she's doing to me, and it is not fair what she's doing to you. To me? Oh, look, I'm sorry. I don't want to cause any more trouble. Hang on, what she's doing to me? No, forget it, Pete. I've said too much. See what you have, darling. It's too much to stop now, so out with it. No, no, this customer's one serving up the other. You stay out of this pack. And you were saying? See, I'm in trouble here now, and it's look, all because of her. One of these blinking days. It's a secret, Pete. If you had half an eye, you'd see Wilmot Brown is all over Cathy, and she isn't exactly pushing him away. It makes you think, doesn't it? Maybe she took my natural father for a ride, too. I can't make it, not Taylor, this. What's that, babe? Yeah, listen. Did they never try the old blotting paper in the optics trick? Or did he always give straight measures? Oh, did I ever give a straight measure in his then life? Then he it down. I don't know, love. Do you think we'll do? No, I don't. It's too risky. You just forget that. Just a passing thought, darling, that's all. Every time I've drunk scotch in a boozer, it always like, tastes three parts water to me. Whatever Den and Angie did, I think we ought to make a point of doing the opposite. Mm -hmm. No, it's this accounting that's getting me. Well, we covered it on that management course last week, right? Yeah. There are four basic principles. That was Angie's going, wasn't it, eh? I heard she used to keep two set of books. Frank. How she got away with it, I'll never know. Frank, will you forget Den and Angie? Can you remember what they said on the course? No, I can't, babe, but I made some notes for upstairs. Don't worry, it'll come, it'll come. We've only got ten days. Is that long enough? There's budget of time, darling. Now, listen to me. In a few days' time, this pub will be us, and we're both fed up to the back here for giving money to Sparrow, right? Eh? So let's enjoy it, darling. Come on, show us your posters. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think? Hey, I like it, I like it. Half price beer, eh? Do you think we can afford it? Of course we can. Come on, let's sling them up. Yeah, Frank, you know you were saying the other day about uh, well, Diane, your daughter. I'll tell you, babe. I've been asleep since then. What do I say? <sighs> well, she ain't too keen to come here. Yeah, that's true. I'm a bit nervous about it myself. Do you think we could wait a bit and Hang see on a minute. We... Now, look. Diane's going to be fine, so will Ricky. And you'll be your usual one of all self. So stop worrying about it. The only thing that's concerning me is the live entertainment you've got on that poster there. What's up with it? We ain't got any yet. Eh? I'm working on it. You better get your skates on. We don't want to go off half cock. Darling, that's something I won't happen, I promise you. Okay, well, let's get one of these in the window, oh, eh? Good idea. I'll tell you what, let's have one on that side. And, uh, one of this. No, that ain't necessary. Why not? Well, because then you'd see both, wouldn't you? Not if you were only going down Bridge Street, you wouldn't, would you? Oh, it is a problem, isn't it, eh? Is that what they taught you on that man management course? How to stick posters up in pub windows? They should have had you running up and down mountains with ten pound weights in your hand. Because that's what it's all about. Survival of the fittest. And yes, I know you're dying to know. How about that then, eh? Champagne dinner. And then the other little goodies we got in store, you best wait until the night. After you've had your pie and mash, of course. Yes, well, you would have your opening same night as us, wouldn't you? I think that's what they call a coincidence. Out of the way, Rowley. Champagne, Charlie, his mother. Yeah, so, you know, that's what we're looking for here all the over at night, so... Um... Yeah, I can't stop I only want you for a minute, darling, all right? Yeah, Dan. Who's that? Who? Oh, over there, talking to Frank. Don't you know? No. I thought you know all the good time girls around here. She's never in Brahas, not 12 o'clock in the morning. Nah, of course cool. she's not. What do you take Frank for? Oh, it's all right. She's a stripper. Frank? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Really Listen, got darling, I've got something for you. Actually, a ticket for the night, right? They'll be like gold dust. Listen, it's the advanced bookings already. Jimmy sent her around. Jimmy? You mate with all the contacts? He thought she'd be great for opening night, babe. Frank, this is a family evening. There ain't much family entertainment with some stripper waving around in the air. That. I know that. I'm talking about for later on, after hours. Oh, great. So we got a pub full of perverts. Can't you do any better than that? I've got a couple of comics of mine, What so kind of comics? They're not exactly Blue Peter, darling. Frank, this is our big chance. Between Wilmot Brown and the Marie Celeste, down in his Ponzi wine bar, this is the only family pub for streets all around right, here. All right, all right, all right. So no dodgy comics, no strippers, right? Just good old-fashioned fun. I thought that was good old-fashioned fun. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I thought you'd been 
Centre. Well, given once this week, look for one up north. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, this community needs saving as well. I am trying to save it. I'm trying to give it work, give somebody a job here. Have you got a driver yet, Chris? Hey, you know they talk about this north-south divide, Frank. Well, I'll tell you, when you live in both camps, you can see it's really true. Do you really think so? Oh, I know so, mate. Up north, I can get drivers aplenty and no work. Down here, the opposite. Plenty of work, no drivers. Now, how do you figure that uh, out? I know how you feel, mate. I'm trying to get X in my opening night. They're either book two blue or completely out of my price range. Same thing up north, mate. You know, you can get an act and a penny. Right, all the clubs are folding. Yeah. Down here, places Pass. like yours are Pass. open. You can't get an act. Pass. Pass. Not point, now, love. Sausage and chips, twice. Oh, yeah. You know that singer, the rock and roller that used to do the Elvis impression? Yes, yeah, one a couple of months ago, Pat. Yeah. Oh, he's good. Where can I get hold of him? I wouldn't bother. He's not dead and all, is he? No, he's become a fine liquor. What? Yeah, he got religion a couple of years ago. He's a vicar now. Great. Pat, can I have a quick word with you, please? Yeah, you don't sing or tell jokes, do you? What? Yeah, well, I don't tell a good story, but you wouldn't stand on the stage and do it, would you? Have you got any more bright ideas? I'm yeah. working on it. Oh, this is for the opening night. Yeah. Got anybody in mind? No. No, but I would like the evening off. Are you sure? Yes. I think I might have a date. On our opening night? I think so, yeah. But where do you think you're going? Well, oh, yeah, I get it. The other half of Simon's ticket. Mm. Has he actually asked you yet? No, not yet, but I'm sure Yeah, but you hope he don't, darling, because you ain't having an opening night off, and that is oh, it. Right. That's it. And certainly not to attend somebody else's. Yeah. Ten pounds a ticket, cheap at half the price. Bring your great grandfather there with you, all right? Sorry. Oh, I haven't put you to that oh, half me, and I still look that well. Oh, oh, Colin, Colin, say for me to say to uh, uh, no, Sam, yes. oh, sorry, Connor. Joanne. So you're on a new bath stuff I've been hearing about. Yeah, well, I thought you ought to meet as soon as possible. You'll be seeing a lot of each other when you're moving to the wine. Oh, Carmel. Yeah. I'm a sucker for a good course. On your own, I'd then have. It's always the same with men. Half of what they say they don't want you to hear, the other half well, ain't worth listening to. They won't be missing anything then. Oh, not with them too, no. When you're around here, eh? I thought I hadn't seen you before. You just moved into the area. I'm all passing through. Well, if you're around on Thursday, I knew fancy your knees up. We're having to do it. Just hearing about it. Yeah, well, like I said, I shouldn't listen to everything they say. I know. I usually make up my own mind anyway. Yeah. Well, Frank and me are going to make a go of this place. Whatever anybody else says. Frank. Yeah, we'll take over next week. Well, that's Frank standing over there looking stupid. <laughs> This place has been going downhill a bit recently, but we're going to put it back on its feet. It's not the local trade, you see. This is the right place for this area. A good old-fashioned place. Yeah. Place where you can meet your friends, chat. <laughs> Even have the odd Barney. <laughs> well, uh, see you around, maybe, if you're not passing through too quickly. You never know. I do, I do no. hear what you're saying. Hey. No, we haven't. It's only got two nights. We haven't got anybody decent oh, now. Of course we will. Oh, I'll give it all. Don't want no tacky strippers and no dodgy comics. I know, I know. Oh, that's what I like to see. A couple starting as they meet to go on. I mean, the pub's not a pub if the landlord and landlady aren't into each other's throats. We just can't find an act for Thursday night. That's all. Oh, is that all? Yeah, Frank left it a bit late. Oh, I left it a bit late. It was your job. Oh, stop panicking. I've got somebody else to try. Oh, use the phone with pleasure, do. Oh, don't worry. We'll give you the 10 p. No, no, look on it as a parting gift. Yeah. Oh, you know when you're going, then? Yeah, right, tomorrow I reserve yeah, my place for the bed and breakfast. It'll come down for you, will it? No, not really. It'd be a bit like when I was with Ange. You know, Maze well, is doing my washing and ironing, Doris is cooking me breakfast, oh, the added bonuses, nice. I don't have to sleep with either of them. Oh, yeah. that'll be nice Easy for you. I've got one. An act. An agent. Haven't we tried this before? Jack said this one's a rumour court. I hope so. Yeah, Den's leaving tomorrow. Oh, that's handy. The kids are moving in. How old are they? 14 or 15. Oh, they like dogs. Yeah, I had a mongrel where they've been put down. Now they keep on me about buying another one. I could save you a few bob, then. Hey, I'm leaving you roly. Here, Den, hang on a minute. I'm HAPQ1. What do you mean you're yes. leaving us roly? I thought that statement was pretty easy to follow. We may not want the mutt. Well, well, are you worse, uh, Frank? You, you, you said his kids were desperate for another dog. Well, I ain't Frank's kids. Well, I can't take you to Doris's with me. Oh, we're not going to be saddled with your unwanted pets. Oh, well, I'm afraid it's the old glue pot for you, then, Roly. Just hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Listen, we can have him till you get a more Frank. permanent place. But baby, it's stupid putting him in a dog's home, especially as Diana love it. Oh, that's fine by me, then. Well, it ain't fine by me. When we take over this place, I want a clean sweep, and that includes all dogs and all rats. Oh, he sounds ideal. Oh, yeah, you're delighted. I'll have a word with Pat and I'll come straight back to you. Thanks very much, you know. Bye. Go home, I got one. Oh, all 
throat. An act throat in the way. He dresses up as a pearly king and he does gags. What kind of gags? Clean ones. How much? The glass. You booked him and you haven't asked how much it's going to cost? I haven't booked him yet. Why not? Because I wanted to see if it was all right with you. Well, he sounds perfect. I'll bring him back in five minutes. Mm. Oh, the long lost barmaid. Hello, Pat. Where the hell have you been? Ill. For four days? Can you get my message? No, I asked my flatmate to tell you. Well, me. they didn't. Sorry about that. Not half as sorry as me. And where were you at bottling up time this morning? I was at the dock. I told you she'd been ill. I don't believe a word that girl says. If weren't desperate for staff, I'd sack her. Hello, I'll finish it. Oh, back to full strength, I see. Yeah, she's been ill. Oh, that's nice. Stick her on a food counter. Oh, you sort with your entertainment, aren't you? Oh, yeah, Frank's found entertainer. Mm. What's the name of that geezer, Frank? I forget his name, but he dressed up as a pearly kick and he cracks oh, gags. Oh, yeah, cock muscle from that. That's him, same, maybe. Yeah, we had him here about five years ago. Oh, was he good? Appalling. Someone threw a dart at him to get him off. Ask Pete to tell you all about it. Oh, you yeah. want me? I'm in the wine bar. Oh, I don't yeah. think we will. Don't take any notice. He's winding us up. Don't ask! Some vinegar. Pete? Yeah? Have you heard of an act called cock muscle? Cock muscle? Yeah, like acne wick. Push it up like a pearly kick. That's him. Yeah, who's it through that dart at him? Oh. It'd been me if I'd get one handy. Is that good, was it? Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> That is back to the drawer in Bold Love. We better find somebody quick or we're going to look like a right couple of birds. I can't find any salt and vinegar. If you need a job doing, do it yourself. Oh, and if he thinks he's saddling us with you, he's got another thing coming. Out! Go on, go and find your daddy. You'll recognise him by the skunk smell. What to do? Everything. Died? Watch telly. Oh, you don't want to watch telly? I can't get a breath of fresh air. Darling, if she wants to watch telly, let her watch telly. Oh, I'd be better off outside. There's lots of kids in the square. You'll get to know them soon enough. Yeah, all well, my mates live miles away. Well, then come over and visit. Yeah. Your dad will fetch them. Sure. Mm, for the last month, he's been going on about the long hours he's going to have to work. And Harry won't have time to do anything. I'll have time to go and pick your mates up, all right? They might not want to come. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Where's the dog? Sorry? Dad said we were keeping Roly. Frank? Well, we are done him for the time being, anyway. Well, where is he then? Well, I don't know. He's about to be around here somewhere. You seen Roly, Pat? No. You haven't had him put down as well, have you? No, of course I haven't had him put down. What about the agent? Be right back. They're taking it in here. Roly! Roly! So? So what? Can we have the telly on then? He does what? He muddles balloons. The agency said he was a good old man in the tunnel. Frank, this is a pub, not a church party. <sighs> Darling, it was you that said you wanted something clean. Clean, yes, and not Mary Whitehouse approved. <sighs> Where are the kids? Oh, they've gone looking for Roly. I can't understand where he is. I don't care about the dog. I just want to get this pub off to a flying star. Look, if the worst comes to the worst, I shall go round to all the agents myself on Thursday morning. Don't be stupid. I mean, you've got to go and pick up the licence Thursday. Then you've got to come back here for the orders. You won't have time to choose your socks, let alone an entertainer. Excuse me, Pat. I think I might have an idea. That was better than his. Simon. What about him? Well, you could do a sing-along at the piano. That's not such a bad idea. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Now, Dan's give him a ticket to go to Wisdom. Yeah, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind cancelling to help you two out. It's a good idea. It's perfect. They all love him in the square. A sing-along of pie and mash evening. No, I don't think it's right to ask him that. It's but... right. Diane, how many more times? You're not allowed behind the bar. It's the only place you're not allowed. I just come to tell Pat that someone at the door for you. Oh, yeah. I did that. Uh, 